General Katoch, General Katoch, you see, this is a very yeah. important subject today. The whole country is looking of at it. it though, is. though Mr. Subramaniam would rather we discuss cricket, Mr. Subramaniam, we discuss a lot of cricket, but this is the pertinent issue tonight. This is the pertinent issue tonight. If we, if we discuss cricket and don't discuss this, then we won't be doing, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, our, 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 own, our own profession, the right service. Arya Mansundra, should we go into details or just settle it? And my specific question to you is, sup, I am told backroom talks are on. Suppose, suppose the, the general says, I will give it in writing, that I will walk out on any date you want, if you simply agree to the date of birth that I am asking for. Will that be legally valid? Should that be an option the government should look at? Arnab, uh, in the midst of all this debate, I think uh, we are sidestepping what I believe today is the real issue. Yes. As to what the general's date of birth is, whether it is 1950, 51, has now been put in the lap of the Supreme Court, which will doubtless look into the matter. I'm on a slightly different issue, which is directly connected with the question you just asked me. The issue is this. The general may very well be right, absolutely right. Yeah. But I believe certain jobs stop being jobs, they become positions. They are positions we treat as sacrosanct. They are positions which are very high up. I am not going to talk about the merits or demerits of the general's case at all because that is before the court and now that it's before the court it's only right that none of us really can discusses that. The point I'm on is when you occupy such a position, when you have made a mistake Perhaps I'm taking it to be absolutely right that there was a genuine mistake made of giving the date of birth wrong in the very beginning. But be it as it may, when you have made a mistake and want that mistake corrected, and the government in its wisdom, and don't forget he's the general of the army, he's the chief of army staff of the government of India, of India. At such a stage, if the government does take a decision based on legal opinion, based on what the Attorney General says, having considered it, takes a decision and says, sorry, we are not going to change that date sir, today. Sir, even I wonder whether when you are occupying a position and not just a job, it's a case of turning around and saying, I have a legal right, I am going to court and bringing the entire thing, the entire position into such public eye when the Chief of Army Staff is a sacrosanct position. The way I look at it is, if the general's age is correctly or the date of birth is really 1951, not 1950, I'm sure that given his integrity, given everything else, a lot of us believe that it must be so. Yeah. But I certainly do not believe that once you occupy such a position and once the government says, sorry, these are the way the rules are and we are afraid we have to take it this way, that you should go to fight for what I call a legal right. So I believe those positions are the, positions of honor. You say they are positions which are, are given relevant? to you, which are positions of honor. It's not just a job. So it's not just a job. To answer your question, if the general was to say, look, my age is 1951 and my date of birth is 1951, and please accept it to be so and have respect for my integrity in saying so. Yes. I do not think the government is going to turn around and say, no, it's been proved it's no, 1950. They're so going by no, the no, but that's what he's been saying. The point is, Th that's why are we fighting over a position? Today, the what is the fight, Arnab? I'm sorry. The fight has gone to a position. The right to continue holding he a position. He says it's not about a now position. That, I believe, is a sacrosanct position. He says not it's not there. about a but position. The question of the age. He says I'm it's sorry, not about a position. question about the age. Sorry? He says, the general says it's sorry, not about a position, Arnab? it's about a matter of integrity. I will go tomorrow. Uh, do I take it? If you agree to my point. Does the general then say that I am I'm quite happy to lay down office in May and I do not intend, irrespective, to continue after May 19, yes. uh, uh, 2012. Irrespective of what it is, I am not continuing. But I would like it decided once and for all what my age is. Yes. That's, I do not see the case quite like that. Well, if I it think is like that, then I'm very, that's a different in issue, fact, but in, I do not. In fact. I do not see the general saying, yeah. look, I am leaving in May 2012. I am going, I'm not going to stay on beyond I, that. 
But I would like it finally decided as to what my age is since. Yes. Rightly or wrongly, I've raised such an issue this, about it all this, this time. This it has become so public. I do not want the people of India to think I have a wrong age. Actually, according to me, if the general had said, look, my age is this, <coughs> having respect to my office, having respect to my uh, position, I am not going to continue this fight, but this is my age. But that I is believe apparently, the general's integrity. that is, that is the most worrying part. He was right. Sir, sir, that is the most worrying part of this whole development. That apparently this kind of communication has happened, but I don't know why it has not been able to lead to a resolution. I, I want to go now to Colonel Koshal. What Koshan. is the resolution, Arnab? If the government was to turn around and say, I'm sorry with this doubt, I'm, I'm not even saying the government decides his age is X or Y. The government decides that sir, with all this doubt, the kind of position it is. I feel certain positions, if sir, there's any sir, kind of doubt, sir, tell me. you do not continue in the position. No, no, sir, tell if me. You do not continue in the position, like I said, one never they, yearns for a position. Lila, for a position is a position of honor. No, no, see, see the position of honor here is, I, I'm just coming to you, Colonel Kadosh, but because Leela Purapa raised her hand, you know, the position being taken is, uh, this, this, this serv serving chief has been given the Youth Seva Medal in 1980, the Ati Vishish Seva Medal in 2006, the Param Vishish Seva Medal in 2009, by the President, by the president of, of India with the date of birth of May 10th, 1951 emblazoned on them. And now you suddenly turn around and you say, sorry, you know, we take a slightly different opinion. So, you know, th there therefore becomes a more critical issue. Leela Ponappa, is there a resolution inside? Coming back to you, General Katoch. Leela Ponappa. Um, I think we need to look at this administratively. Let's take the individual out of the picture okay. because if he didn't happen to be army chief, nobody would be discussing this issue. The government is replete with cases with regard to discrepancies on date of birth. Uh, also, I don't think there's enough information out in the public domain beyond what has selectively been put out or what channels like yours have obtained. I think the fact of the matter is that there is, on the one hand, let us uh, take it at face value that 51 was the actual date of birth. And there should be enough documentation, and I'm sure a channel like yours could go into even birth records and so on, uh, in order to ascertain the fact. The other reality is that, particularly from the point of view, from the level of Major General upwards, the officer has moved up to the highest position in the Army yes. on the basis of a certain treatment regarding his date of birth. Now, I don't believe a general of the Indian Army can be coerced into saying, well, yes, I was actually, I'll, I'll take 1950 and not 51. The point is, he got the full benefits of the uh, career uh, path uh, up to Lieutenant General, to Army Commander and uh, to Chief on the basis of a 1950 date so, of birth. No, no, now, the Supreme, Court might determine, but the Supreme Court might determine the actual date of birth. But Ms. if, let us say, theoretically, the government were to be very graceful and accept 51, does it then negate all the decisions that got taken on the basis of a 1950 date of birth with regard to the career no, progression? But, that but, would be a very Shylockian solution. Which you are and saying. I don't believe it would be uh, desirable at all. No, no, uh, one sec, one sec. I have the, the, you see, there is a certain backdrop to this. Now, now the choice is, TSR Subramanian coming to you. I want to go to Colonel Ko Koshal because he hasn't come in yet. Then I'll reopen the debate. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you, Colonel General Katosh. The question is this. There is a backdrop to this. There is an animosity between two individuals called General Kapoor and Gen General VK Singh. There are, there are, when General Deepak Kapoor is chief, there are five telegrams exchanged in a period of 10 days. You know, between the two, fighting over this whole date of birth issue, between, between the MS branch and, and General, General uh, V.K. Singh. And eventually a very bitter letter is written by General V.K. Singh in which he writes to his chief, please tell me why, despite 10th May 1951 being in all my confidential reports, how come the date of birth is now being taken as 1950? That is a backdrop to this. Colonel Koshal, you know, you're hearing the argument tonight by TSR Subramaniam yes. Leela Ponappa as well as Aryaman Sundaram that it's a question yeah. of accepting the rules and moving on. You've taken this issue to yes. courts. Why? Yes. <clears throat> we feel this controversy is belittling the chief of the army staff. And as an ex-serviceman, we felt a great injustice is being done to the chief in all sorts of documents throughout India since ages. Matriculation certificate 
is the real certification of the age of date of birth of any person in any government service or otherwise. I have my own case. I was not called for SSB board and I, after three months I wrote to the Army headquarter again. They told me your matriculation certificate is not there to ascertain your age. Then I forwarded the certificate and I went for SSB and became an officer. So since last 46, 7 years, I know that matriculation A certificate is the real document for ascertaining the age of Sir, but, anybody in this country. But, but Colonel and this Katoch, is happening today the argument, Colonel Katoch, today, to, uh, Colonel Koshal, sorry, Colonel Koshal, the argument being put uh, together by Ariman Sundaram, uh, it's not about date of birth. It's about the institution. It is. It is about the institution which will be sullied if is, this fight continues. That's his argument tonight. The, inst the institution is also the chief of the institution if belittled and if he is denigrated, his honor is not uh, taken into consideration, then where is the institution? It is having a terrific bad effect on the whole of the Indian Army. What about the dignity of the office? And Colonel Koshal, you went to court before the chief. Of, of Colonel Koshal, you went to court before the, the chief. Dignity. What about the what about the yes. what about the dignity of his office? He should have stepped down gracefully and then you consider legal options. If you're in office and you fight Can the I government then you no. no. <coughs> Step down is always available to anybody. But he had, uh, why, why shouldn't he uh, exercise other options which were available to him? One minute. And the other options were he, Arna, he went to the government repeatedly. Yeah. Okay, Colonel, Colonel Koshal, yes. Aryaman Sundaram wants to respond. Ar TSR Subramanian wants to respond to you. Mr. Sundaram, go first. Yes, Mr. Sundaram, go ahead. Arna, oh. what I am trying to emphasize is that there are some institutions which are bigger than the individual. I do not believe that an officer of the well-known repute, integrity as the general, the people are going to doubt that he is not fighting a real cause. But my point is, by doing this, what are you doing to the institution in the entire public international eye? What we have is a general of the army, which in effect, when you take out, when you separate the wheat from the shaft, what you come down to is the general says, I'm sorry, May 2012 is not the stage at which I should retire. But that is not the issue. I appreciate that he may be saying that he's fighting for his honor, but he is also fighting for the position. And that I feel the Sir, has, has the gentleman we are talking about. He I, should just move on no. and he can definitely have his age. Sir, I'm sure it will Sir, be sorted out. It's a backdoor Sir, but, issue between the government of his uh, and But him. we are talking about an individual. TSR Subramaniam, come to you next. We are talking about an individual who is largely seen as having restored a great amount of dignity and respect to an institution which was being sullied by all kinds of scams and scandals before he and took And today over. the whole world is talking about, the whole world is talking about this unseemly fight which is going on. No, but, they, but the whole world will also say that this is one general who was trying to clean up the system and, you know, he shouldn't have had to go over like this. In fact, in the interest of the institution, Adnab, let him continue I'm sorry, I'm more of job. an optimist. No? I am more of an optimist, obviously, than you are. I believe that there is always... The always the better people prevail over the worst. I've and I believe that while this general has done a lot, it does not mean that no other general can do a job as good as him. Well